Well, 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 y'all, what do we got here today? Joe Biden starts sobbing on live TV after White House, after Trump win, Fed's whole cry sessions. Well, what? Mm, okay, Biden. You had to put on your front because you slick, low key voted for Trump in the back. I'm telling y'all that. So you had to, you know, put on this whole act of crying after all the fuckery you didn't did. I get it. Your boy, I don't care what nobody say. Your boy Biden voted for Trump too. He did. So let's get into it, y'all. Everybody is crying. I mean, like, what's going on? Meltdown, sobbing, pointing fingers at each other, turning on each other. Chaos is breaking out into this world, y'all. Trying to reopen borders for more people to come in. Just trying to destroy what we have. And these the same people weeks ago saying that they was going to do everything that they can on day one to make it better for us. And y'all folks was believing that the ones who still voted blue. If Trump wouldn't have made it in office, y'all, do y'all know they were trying to put that man in jail forever for the rest of his life? You do have to sit and ask yourself, was those charges going to be dropped if it went the other way around for real, for real? And we still got to be careful because I was watching, if y'all don't know one of my reactions, he was saying they could not do anything while he in office, but they could try to bring it back up. When he's no longer the president. So you know what I'm saying? Drop him. Just drop him because it was BS from the beginning. So y'all, let's go ahead and dive on in. I got my boy Benny Johnson, of course. Let's go ahead and dive on into the video. I need to get some tissue, okay? Because I'm sick of all this crying. Let's get into it. Sick of them. Jeez, what a little crybaby. You're gonna cry all day, crybaby? You know, everyone has Sick problems. It. it doesn't mean you have to be a little crybaby about it. Come on, guys, let's go. This kid is totally not cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the most uncool kid I've ever met. Little crybaby. <laughs> oh, my God! Yes! Yes! Oh, let me taste your tears. Oh, your tears are so yummy and sweet. What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. There are some things I will never Empty. tire of for the rest of my life. Drinking a bourbon on my front porch as the sun sets, listening to Johnny Cash, my wife making homemade cinnamon rolls from scratch on Christmas morning as my kids mm -hmm. play with their new toys, and watching libs cry <laughs> salty, molten tears in Washington, D.C. because they've... Y'all, for real, the holidays is coming up, y'all. Y'all know we count down to Thanksgiving and stuff like that, so I want to just go ahead and say this real quick before we get back into the video. Y'all, enjoy your family. Some of them might be salty because some of them probably voted for Kamala and stuff like that. So y'all just keep it clean, keep it cool, you know. Try not to just enjoy the family, okay? Because <laughs> I know a few of my members finna be salty. I'm thinking about walking through there with my um rally um trump y'all trump gonna fix it i'm thinking about doing that because why not i mean you know <laughs> that's just me let's get into the video lost to donald trump that opposition donald j trump is now president of the united states president oh. so that's this is definitely Think the most them. famous video in modern political history Right. It's up there with the Zapruder film. Look at it. The, the, the sheer mimetic energy of this moment. Even Donald Trump appreciates uh, it. Thing with the women screaming, the way, that one, one woman with the glasses, she's become famous. No, no. And <laughs> Donald J. Trump is now. <laughs> oh, great, Benny. I the reason why is ear. because none of us tire of the salty tears of the libs. That's why we have a massive salt shaker in our studio. It's why we subsist off of pure sodium from these tears, and it's why we're very excited to usher more of them in. Like, for instance, did you know that Jack Smith dropped his case mm -hmm. to President Trump today? Now, all federal cases against Donald Trump officially done for. Okay. And gentlemen, it is official. They've been dismissed. It's over. Okay. Donald Trump declaring total and complete legal victory. Ladies and gentlemen, there's more to cry over. Like this, new data out today showing that every single group in America, every demographic in America, every demographic, black, Hispanic, Asian, white, 
no degree. Non-white, BA, non-white, no degree. Ages 18, 30, 45 to 64. All of them have had a either double digit or near double digit swing to President Trump. Some of the swings have been plus 37 points. Mm. Some of them, like black American, Hispanic Americans, have swung plus 30 points toward Republicans. And you're looking at a world where, Dem- like, if, if Cash Pell does his job at the FBI and Pam Bondi at the DOJ, and they go after election fraud, that it becomes impossible for a Democrat to win. If you institute mandatory voter ID, it becomes impossible for a Democrat to win. Mm. So there's a lot of reasons to cry right now for libs, including but not limited to uh, Donald Trump saying he wants to put Hulk Hogan in his administration. (laughs) Hulk Hogan suggests Donald Trump may nominate him for the administration. (laughs) This is how Donald Trump will decide policy in the new era. Anyway, what am I what am I getting at here? What I'm saying here is that libs are crying again and Donald Trump is still months away from being sworn into office and libs are still crying. Touching moment as Joe Biden breaks down in tears as Jill hails her husband as a hero. Jill Biden broke down in tears. First Lady Jill hailed her husband as a hero during the president's farewell well dinner at the White House. The outgoing U.S. president has overcome with emotion as why pay tribute to his decades of service. Really, has it really been service or has it been self-service? Hmm. On Friday, Jill praised her husband. What I've watched you more than 40 years is extraordinary, Joe. You've done four years breathtaking. As Biden wiped a tear from his cheek, Biden reached for a tissue in his pocket. His wife raised a glass, toasting, my husband and hero, Joe Biden. Okay, Jill, chill out because you was calling your husband a hero and toasting right now, right now, that other stuff. But you couldn't even help your man when he was falling through that sand, sand. You just walking and letting him tumble and fall. But you want to call him a hero and toast. Yes. The BS is out of you. Y'all go ahead, clean house. Go ahead, have your little last little moments because this is time for y'all to clean house, get on up out of there so we get the real people up in there so they can do what they need to do for our country. Get on. Sick of y'all. You know, none of these people are heroes. I I, yeah, I don't feel sorry for them at all. You don't need to hear Joe Me Biden's either. stupid speech. Here's Joe Biden, like, crying. You can see it here at the very end. Joe Biden has to wipe his tears away. It's a performance. It's always been a performance. The whole the whole thing is fake. It's all completely and totally fraudulent. A craft. It's like a it's like Lizzo or Cardi B endorsing Kamala Harris. It's the stuff of Hollywood fakery, tricks, dirty tricks pulled on you, the American people. Joe Biden isn't a noble statesman. He He isn't a genius at foreign policy. He's none of the things they claim to that he was. Joe Biden is a fraud. Despised by the American people. He's not the most popular president ever. Remember when they said Joe Biden's the most popular president in American history? No. Joe Biden's a criminal who deserves to be investigated for his crimes, multiple crimes of his family, who have simply grifted off the American people. Joe Biden isn't a servant at all. Hmm. He's a grifter. And he deserved to cry as his legacy, of course, is in total and complete shambles hmm. along with his uh, plastic surgery. Look Man, at what's going to happen to Joe Biden after this? I, I laugh and I giggle at this stuff about you know Kamala Harris and how Joe Biden hates her clearly and how lonely the Bidens are now. But you, you make your girl. bed, man. You sleep in it. I, Every- hope, I, I, I wish no sleep on these people and no rest because – Every last one of them. Ooh, wee. And them seeds y'all done sold, baby, gonna have to come up. They already, you gonna reap what you sow. Y'all threw them seeds down there. They got to come up one way or another. Every last dirty dog, one of you. They, they, truly have tortured the American experiment, experiment with it within an inch of his life. I mean, we were so close. A confluence of miracles kept this country together, and we should always remember that and thank God for it. Mm. I have no empathy for these people. What they did to our country goes far beyond bad policies. They're ruthless, vicious, intentional in their demolition of America, and they profited handsomely from it. We should never forget that. 
and we should have accountability. Apparently, there will be accountability. Insiders expect the DOJ attorneys resign in mass to avoid being canned by Donald Trump. Is there any way we can get this in writing? <laughs> uh, yes, it is an amazing, amazing moment um, to look at the weakness and feebleness of our federal government. Look at this. By Blinken, this is the Secretary of State, mocked for hosting State Department cry sessions after officials have personal meltdown over Trump victory. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is under fire for being accused of hosting therapy cry sessions to department staffers upset at Donald Trump's election night victory. Blinken, who is expected to be replaced by Marco Rubio in January, has frequently clashed with Republican-controlled Congress being held in con- uh being held in contempt in September for skipping a hearing of disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal. California Congressman and Trump ally Daryl Issa wrote an open letter to Blinken, smashing the State Department for rumored counseling sessions. Trump win calling them disturbing. To sit there and to sit there and sob and cry together. Managing stress during change. <laughs> Biden Harris State Department holds therapy sessions after Trump win. Our ruling class is despicable grotesque, and weak, and soft. This is the letter uh, from Daryl Issa to Anthony Blinken saying, what the hell are you spending money? You're spending money, you're spending American taxpayer resources on crying sessions because you didn't like what the American public who own you have to say in their election? Unacceptable that the department accommodation this behavior wow. from House Foreign Affairs. Stress Members call state management? More post-elective therapy sessions. It just shows how corrupt the entire system is how rigged it is against us that these kind of things happen and that they're allowed. Like you, nobody, nobody should cry when the American public rejects a political party that is horrendously unpopular and has failed on every level, with one exception, destroying America. Of that, they, were, they, have, they have succeeded at, at, in shocking speed. Hmm. Joe Biden's lonely and lost final days in the office. Netflix, Netflix binges, quiet tears, and shunned by Kamala Harris campaign. Oh, no. You think having a sitting president on your side would be seen as a sizable upper than the last hours of your own campaign in the White House? Not so for Kamala Harris on Sunday. As Democrat nominee made her final push for the election, Harris rounded up a star-studded crew of political big names and deployed them to tough swing states. Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and... Uh, uh, even current first lady, Jill Biden, was out for Harris, but Joe Biden was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> he was salty. He said, I got this something, great. y'all. This is from 5th of November. Oh, okay. Y'all don't sit me down. Yeah. He was hidden away in his hometown of Williamton, Delaware, comfortably blue state, enjoying a long lunch at his golf club with an old friend. Days before Biden had embarrassed Harris with yet another gaffe appearing to refer to Donald Trump supporters as garbage, publicly the White House insisted that he had in fact uh, he hadn't in fact said what everyone had heard. I closed doors. The message from the Harris campaign was clear: stay away. Man, Biden. Don't feel sorry for these people. Don't like don't. You can see all the crying, the crying Joe Biden clips. No, this is this is them. This is the way the wages of sin. All right, you make you Don't make your friends, uh, you make your career on fraudulence and on ripping right. off the American public, on deception, uh, and this is what you deserve. You deserve a very very lonely lonely send off. Mm-hmm. Tell them, Benny. It's your boy Benny. Like share and subscribe. MB. Yup, y'all deserve everything that's coming to you. Hey. Y'all deserve everything that's coming to you. Because it's coming. It's coming. Yep, it's coming. Yep, it's coming. It's coming. Y'all deserve everything that's coming to y'all. That BS y'all been doing for these three and a half years. And then all that other extra BS y'all trying to do in these last two months. Then want to cry like y'all the victims. Y'all to be ashamed of yourselves. Enjoy that little video and little time y'all got left in there because you got to go, you got to go, you got to go, you got to go. I don't know where the hell y'all finna go, but you got to get the hell on up out of there. <laughs> and don't leave nothing.
Because we won't now none of y'all coming back. Now none of y'all. Don't leave nothing. Get all your shit and get up out of there. Sick of y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Remember, y'all, Thanksgiving is coming up and a lot of people voted for the other side. Y'all keep it cute. Keep it clean. Because <laughs> it's going to be a lot of salt. Okay? So y'all just try to just focus on the family and having a good time. All right? I appreciate y'all. You know, we don't want no meltdowns on Thanksgiving Day. Okay? We don't want no meltdowns. If they start to have a meltdown, y'all, y'all know it's time to get your little to-go plate. I holla. Uh, I'll see y'all around Christmas. <laughs> I see y'all. It's time for me to get on up out of here and go. I don't want no smoke. I'm gone. <laughs>